okay so i'm showing you one more feature uh, which is the analytics tab view where you so if you click on this analytics you have this forecast right forecast i'm just renaming it as a forecast yeah predict but predict uh, in case of a time series data so we say we, we can forecast sales for a company right or a forecast demand for a company or we can say predict the sales the share prices or predict the weather so time series data is a data which relates to time which varies with time okay so sales is a time series data sales is a time series data and we can predict forecast the sales based on the historical data okay so so let's see how we do that in tableau so for that we need a time series data so what effectively the time data in our data set is your order date right and i convert this so this is a order date i convert this into a month or i convert this into a month uh, as a continuous data so for your purpose you drag this order date on the rows area and and select the month this is the second month here okay second set of month in the second set okay and i say i say sales amount as in the columns and i get this line chart which tells me the this is a sales wise data this is a line chart which i have got okay which is giving me the on the x axis we have different months so this is sale for april this is sale for may okay now if if you have to change this for may right this is for july june july so each month each point here corresponds to the different month of data so this is a this is a line chart for the sales month wise sales month and year sales for each month okay if i just want to okay so in the end so we have this 2013 so this data starts from 1 april 2009 and at ends at 1 march 2013 and this is the sales which i am seeing this is how it's varying okay now if i have to do a, a forecasting so okay so i just go to analytics tab i now you see this forecast is active here okay just drag this forecast or yeah just double click on this forecast and you get this blue band here and this line here okay now here you see that this is the last which you are seeing is for 1 february and this is 1 march the first point is corresponding to 1 march and as you drag you see the values for the so this this is a predicted so these are the forecast values which you have got starting from 1 april 2013 to 1 november 20 or maybe yeah 1 december 2014 so it has predict they done the prediction for you and it's it's showing you these values corresponding to subsequent months so if you have to see more details you can click on this blue area you can right click on this blue area okay you go to this forecast uh you have select this you have these options show forecast forecast options so here we select on forecast options so you get this window forecast options this is here you can make settings for the forecasting which you want to do so right now it is selected as automatic wherein it has given you the next 22 months forecast but we don't need so let's let's do look at only 6 months
so we have not formatted a date okay so this is axis we have not formatted so that is why you are you are not seeing it in a month wise we we can do the formatting so go to this edit axis or format okay <laughs> go to uh, right click on this axis area go to format go to the scale okay and go to this custom and here you we say that we change the format of the uh, we say mmm three times and y y y y four times and just say click now you are able to see the various months The, now you can close this window so forecast options so uh, forecast forecast options right so exactly so i we, we i want to do it only for six months so i select six here six months okay now agree so i, I want to do it on a monthly basis so that is why aggregate by automatic months now ignore last would mean say so if it's a two old data you won't like to use their data because uh, uh, so for the past say say you have a five year old data five year so you have a five year old data and you don't want to use the initial two months of the data because they are too old or initial six months of the data which are too old so here i don't want to ignore anything so i'm just making it zero okay now if you have a missing value in the data you can check this box if you don't then you i leave it open forecast model we are saying automatic okay and prediction interval i am saying 95 percent so it gives you a description it says you you are using the data from april 2009 to february 2013 to forecast three till august 2013 okay so now your forecast is only for six months okay so okay so now you see that your forecast is this is reduced it's only showing you the forecast for six months okay now if you want to see it in a tabular format if you want to see this whole data in a tabular this, this forecasting is done i select these i filled in these parameters i select exactly i say six and then here i re, uh, select automatic uh, months so you have various options here you can do it by years you can do it by quarters you can do it by prediction can be done by quarters by weeks by days right by hours here ignore last time setting this zero since there are no missing values in the data i'm just leaving it unchecked forecast model we are saying automatic and prediction level we are saying 95 percent you can choose 95 percent 90 percent or 99 percent and we are saying okay now now this is what is the forecast which you have done for six months and these are the respective values which have been forecasted for the next six months now if you want to see it in a tabular format uh, click okay go to this tab here where for tab in the, down just say duplicate as cross tab so you will get a new window here you will get this new window is created by the side of it just click on that and just swap this and this is uh, what you're seeing is a data in a tabular format for the same visual the forecast visual which we have created we are seeing the so if you scroll down now it has in terms of forecast so this is a month this is a sale amount which is actual so starting from april 2009 and then there's a forecast indicator which is estimate lower prediction value sale amount that means and the upper upper predicted value okay so the, it has predicted three values which are it's in the tab area down yeah so just right click there you'll get this option of duplicate as cross tab just click on this and the new sheet will get created automatically And this is the sheet which we are on now okay i've just swapped this so that it looks like this yeah so now if you if I scroll this down i see on the below so starting from april so till march 2013 they have this is the original data of the sale amount now starting from april 
one, two, three, four, five, six from April two zero one three to September two zero one three, the six months. These are the predicted. This is a predicted sale. Okay, this is a predicted sale. This is the upper value, which is which means this is a ninety five percent value. This is a hundred percent value. This is ninety percent value. Okay, so so this is an interval. So it it has predicted three intervals, three lower prediction, upper prediction, and sale amount. So for up, so you can choose. So the, what is telling you the sale will be between three seventy two and seven lakhs, but most likely value is this five three six five one seven. Okay, so these are the predicted values and. This visually can be seen in a graph. On this, this these values are those values. Okay, five three six five one seven five three six five one seven. This line corresponds to those predicted values. So this is what is called forecasting. Forecasting in time series.